So you've been building your Facebook page for the last few years, and then all of a sudden, everything just dropped. All of your engagement, all of your likes, all your comments, all your posts, nobody was seeing it anymore. What happened? Today, we're gonna to talk about your Facebook page and how you can increase your engagement. I'm gonna give you some tips. I'm gonna tell you a little story about how it happened for me and what happened overall. So I wanna jump right into it today. We're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna have some fun, so let's roll. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Adrian Boysell, and I'm here for another training video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could take a quick second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, so I can tell YouTube that people love this content and so it can reach more people. I wanna help more people get more breakthrough. So today's video is specifically about Facebook pages. I want you guys to understand what Facebook pages are. If you don't already have one for your business, you need to go make one today. I might actually create a tutorial. If you have one already, drop the link in the URL so I can go follow you. If you don't have one, say I don't have one down in the comments. I wanna know and I'm gonna make, if I get enough of those people, I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to set one up the right way. But you may have noticed if you do have one that the engagement dropped a lot. Why is that? Well, in 2018, because of Mark Zuckerberg, yes, the infamous Mark Zuckerberg, he decided to roll out a Facebook algorithm update called Facebook Zero, giving priority to your family, to your friends, and to groups. As you know, we've talked about groups if you watched my videos. If you haven't seen that video, I would definitely encourage you to go, to go back and watch it. But Facebook groups are a really important part of Facebook, but so were pages for a very long time. I started building my Facebook page up years ago and I built some traction right out of the gate, inviting my friends and having my friends invite their friends. And I was able to build some traction. I was getting good momentum. And then 2018 happened and all of a sudden I was like, what is going on with Facebook? And I realized that they did something significant to the algorithms and my stuff's engagement went from probably 10% down to less than 1%. It's important that you understand that Facebook page engagement has dropped significantly, whereas your timeline and Facebook groups have grown in popularity. They've even done Super Bowl commercials about Facebook groups. So that's really where the energy and focus should be. But as a secondary, you need to have a Facebook page because it's gonna tell search engines like Google and YouTube and other places like Bing and Yahoo, the social signals. It's gonna give people an understanding of what your testimonials look like. What are the reviews? How many reviews do you have on your Facebook page? What kind of content are you putting out? A lot of people just think that they can put a, a post out every few months and they're gonna reach people. It doesn't work that way. You have to be consistent. The general rule is from social media experts that I've talked to that do social media marketing for a living, that actually manage people's pages for them, is it takes six to 12 months to even see an uptake in that engagement. So it's more challenging, it takes more time, but it is important. My wife started her page a couple of years ago after that update. At first, she just had her mutual friends and her local community in the group. Then as she started to roll through, she started to experience that she wasn't getting very good engagement and she found a trick that I'm gonna share with you. And that is getting your friends to actually go and get them to like and, and share your page with their friends so you can increase your reach. And so if your friends invite all of their friends, you can only imagine that your, increased, your engagement would increase and the amount of likes it would increase and you'd be reaching a lot of people. So that's a really good way. There's a trick that you can go do inside of your Facebook page to go get other people to go share your page with their friends. And that's what I've been doing with my pages and all my friends' pages is getting them to share it with their friends. So it's important that you have that for social proof, social signals, you can put testimonials on there. There's all kinds of great things that you can do with your Facebook page, but it's important to understand that you have to polarize an audience. Your tribe is looking for something that nobody else has. And one of the things that you can do to create that emotional reaction is to polarize them. My wife put up a comment or a post on her Facebook page for Crunchy Cottage that had to do with vaccines, pro-vaccine and anti-vaccine. Well, all these people are in the vaccine line and all these people are in the healthy line, actually working on their immune systems the natural way, this post went viral. She had over 7,000 shares on the post, millions of views on it to the point where she was starting to get hate mail and emails from people and even threats. So she ended up having to delete the post. But that post alone took her page likes from 2,000 all the way up to 8,000. 
And then she just recently did a sale after that and she saw the biggest day in sales that she's ever had. And I believe it's because she's reached a whole new audience of people. A lot of the people didn't like what she had to say, but guess what? The people that did like what she had to say really liked what she had to say. And now those are gonna be lifelong customers. They're writing her thank you emails and thank you for sharing this. Thank you for opening up my eyes. So it's a great way to still engage people, but you gotta remember it takes consistency. If you wanna know how, how consistent, four to five days a week, you need to be posting at least one post a day. That is the general rule and you need to be doing that for at least six months if you wanna actually reach people. Doing things like Facebook Lives is a really good way to engage with people. You can do a Facebook Live right from the page. Doing things like doing contests and promotions and giveaways is another great way to increase the engagement. Then doing things on a daily basis and what we call it the rule of thirds in social media. You're gonna post something specifically about your business in, during the week you're gonna post something specifically about your industry. It doesn't have to do with your business, but it could be about your industry. And then you wanna post something completely unrelated. Maybe it's a funny viral video. It could have something similar, maybe your personality type associated with it, but it needs to be funny, like a meme or a motivation or a mindset, something along those lines. They call it the rule of thirds. So it's an important piece that you wanna understand about social media marketing is if you just put the same post out there where you're asking them to buy from you all the time, no one's gonna to wanna to see that page. You wanna create a page that is engaging and that is offering value to the marketplace, engaging content, engaging videos, engaging written articles, things like that that's gonna be really, really huge for you. And so this is a way you can build up the engagement on your Facebook page. Facebook pages are definitely underutilized and they're underrated. If you actually do it right, you can funnel people from your Facebook page to your Facebook group where you can even get that higher engagement. That's how you can go from somewhat serious people who are just kind of interested to raving fans. Once you have people on a Facebook group, you know that they're raving fans. So use your, your Facebook page as a lead magnet to bring people to the other things that are actually gonna really get them in. It's an attention getter. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. It's important that you understand how important Facebook pages are. I was able to utilize them and build a lot of social proof. Now when people Google my name, they see my Facebook page come up and I have six or seven, I think there's actually like 12 five-star reviews on there. People know that I'm serious and you can see people's profiles. That's the cool part is the fact that you have your reviews that are associated with social profiles so people know that they're not fake reviews. So that's my knowledge that I wanted to share with you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want a Facebook community, you want more people around you that will help lift you up and support you, and you wanna reach the fullest potential of your career, we have a Facebook group called the Instagraphics Pro Network. I would love to have you guys join us to be part of our community. We're gonna be doing some amazing things, tips, training, Q&A, and just valuable content that you can use to grow your business. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Adrian Boisel, and as always, keep looking up.